No job number to this, but this is the Lakewood Town Center out here in Lakewood. This is an RPAI um, project. Uh, they are the property manage out, managers out here. As a matter of fact, RPAI has a building over here by the AMC Theater, like right over in this area. I think it was right here. That uh, sometimes you've got the employees there, sometimes not. Anyways, we're bidding this job to Zimmer Consultants, and what we're looking at is asphalt repair. There's some curb repair. I think there's an ADA ramp we got to put in, and we might even be ripping out uh, a curb island. So this is the bid form that uh, I'll have saved to Google Drive, and they've got everything in square yards, three-inch milling. So there's going to be areas of three-inch removal, grinding, and replacement. Then there's four inch grind and replace. Uh, and then it says base repair, 500 square yards. We're gonna look to see exactly what that means right there on that base repair. Um, if they're talking crushed rock or something, I don't know. Then you've got the placement of the hot mix and there's 1,320 tons. Uh, on top of that, you've got some four inch pavement patching, 78 square yards. Replacing curb. There's only 25 feet. So it's probably in a couple different areas and then replace a curb ramp 35 square feet down here in the landscape island replacement. We'll look to see where that's at We'll have to excavate 75 cubic yards 4 inch PVC sleeve I'm Not sure what that is yet and then straight curb 574 feet of straight curb So let's look at the asphalt repairs on page 4 of eight, which is a Lakewood Town Center. It's the overall view. You've got all those little four inch depth pavement patches. They've got all the square footage right here, all the dimensions, I should say, here. And then they've got it in square yards. So you'll see this is the 75 square yards they were talking about earlier. I think it was 70. And then um, I'm just making sure 78 square yards. Okay, it's got patches one through, um, I think it's, well, one through six. And you'll see on this map, number three is not on here. We're just going to account for it. It's a six by 15, but I don't know where it's at because it's not on this map. All right, so you got repair number one down by Barnes & Noble. It's a catch basin. Two, and then it jumps up to four and five up near PetSmart. And then you got six, which is way up here by the transit center, up on the north end. So I'm going to show you, for example, what, what this patch looks like. So <clears throat> here by Barnes & Noble, you've got this repair right here. Uh, that's patch number one. So we'll have to fix all the asphalt around that catch basin. By the way, at patch number one, there's tons of parking. Tons of parking everywhere. Okay, I found out where patch number three is. It's right there, that little dark brown circle right above patch number two. They just forgot to label it, but I am I found it because it's a tree root damage. So, so here you go, it's patch number three. Here, it's gonna be the Okay, so you got the tree root damage here at this island, and it's because of this tree right here, causing some tree root damage on there. So that'd be patch number three in front of Burlington. Uh, Burlington Coats are just called Burlington. Uh, so that's patch number three. Patch number two, it looks like it's gonna be, it shows it at the second island here, so Second island, there's the first island. Here's the second island. I think it's this low spot here where there's alligator cracking. There's water puddling in it. So it's gonna be right off the building here. That's patch number two. Okay, so I'm gonna take you up to four and five real quick. Actually, here's another view of patch number three, which is also right in front of the store. Okay, it's at the third island. Okay, repair number four, front of office depot. You've got, so there's Office Depot, Ulta. Lots of staging out here, guys, lots of staging. But there's 
there's number four right here right in the middle of the road and that number four is a uh, an eight by eight right here you can see all the alligator cracking in here it's puddling it goes down probably a couple inches okay so that's number four and then number five is up by PetSmart let me make sure I'll walk you up there so number five is a 12 by 30 right up here by the PetSmart stop sign so there's PetSmart got the 12 by 30 right over here where there's kind of a large crack that goes along the second half of this parking aisle so it's gonna be this whole section in here so you got what one two three that's 20 some feet almost 30 so it almost goes out to the four stall and it'd be the repair of that area so that'd be number five okay and then six and seven you've got an uh an eight by eight and then there's some curb repair so let's go take a look at that Okay, so let's look at number seven real quick. This is at La La Palma Mexican Restaurant. Okay, as you come in where the bus station is here, you drive up this way. It says 25 feet of curb to remove and replace. And this was a, a six by eight curb that they poured in here separately. And then they did this sidewalk. They did a uh, another section of curb on the other side. So they're saying there's 25 feet here. So they're including both sides here. They want to remove that, replace it, and then they want to put back a new ADA compliant ramp. So that means we're gonna have some sidewalk here that's uh, gonna tie into here. Okay, you can see that they, I think they marked this originally um, to come all the way out to there, but this sidewalk's okay. It's just this ramp right here. They need a, an ADA ramp. To put in here it doesn't say what ramp to put in right here but we know that there's about five a five foot wide ramp here here's a detail for a perpendicular curb ramp that uh, could go here we go typical section right here so Six, six foot wide, maintain a 12, 12 to one slope to sidewalk. So there's your, there's your existing asphalt right there. Here's your ramp that goes up. All right. Um, it looks like it's six inches of concrete. All right, so we'll have to remove this section here. So you're looking at about an 18 foot by six foot area here to take out six inches. That's the curb and the sidewalk there. We'd rip that out, and then we would put back a six inch depth sidewalk that comes out, just, you know, it's not gonna be the full length. It's gonna ramp down, and that ramp looks like it'd be about a six foot ramp from here, you know, to here, starting from the street. We'd ramp it up, and then uh, go right back to the sidewalk. Um, trying to look to see what else they're doing here so it's all poured as one we don't have to make this curb we just got to pour in one big sidewalk like you see here sidewalk with ramp that goes down okay broom finished then over here behind la palma is another asphalt repair and that's repair number six okay so now i'm walking from seven over to six which is the pizza studio and it looks like we're going to be looking at a repair that's right close to that ADA stall. According to this drawing, looks like it's going to be maybe a cash basin. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see what they're talking about here. Uh, they said it's right in the crosshatch area here. So they're saying it's somewhere in here. The only thing I see that needs to be repaired maybe is in this ADA stall. It has sunk a little bit. And then you got the side of the uh, the iron there showing. So this might be 
the 8x8 that they're wanting to replace is right inside the ADA stall. And then you've got that piece of iron. And this is kind of sunk down here. Okay, that's that's it for those patches. Now, i got to show you the rest of the work here. And the rest of that work's going to be in this long drive aisle that you see by Dollar Tree. Okay, has an intersection, a busy intersection there. Um, plus up here where the transit is, so it's kind of busy there. And then over here you got Rue 21 and some other places, and they want all that, all that drive aisle work removed and replaced. This is where we're going to see that 3 inch and 4 inch milling and replacement. Okay, so I would imagine these areas right here, because of it being so busy, um, I know that the stores could stay open, they could use the sidewalks um, while asphalt's being done. But uh, we'll definitely need to get notice out on that. And then out in the parking stall areas, out in the farther part, that won't be much of an issue because the parking lots aren't that full in that area. So here's a blown up version of from the transit center where I'm at. I moved over here to Route 21. This whole area in here. Um, this would probably be one day in itself, I would imagine, of uh, grinding everything out. Uh, I don't know what the square footage is on that area in particular. It says it's uh, 5,376 square yards. And I don't have a calculator on me to figure out what that is in square feet. Otherwise, I'd be able to tell you. But uh, that's B area. And that's supposed to be 2 inch. The 2 inch milling. So it would be a 2 inch grind an overlay on that in section B and then you got A. So I would imagine this might be a two day process right here to do this and then you're gonna have another day of striping in there. Then down towards the bottom, you're gonna see some other highlighted stuff here. So a proposed four inch PVC sleeve they wanna have run in between these two islands. So as we're doing a grind here, we're gonna have to um, throw down a four inch pvc sleeve so that means we'll probably have to trench out an area there that's a little bit deeper and that's going to be about a 20 a 20 by uh probably a 20 by two um or even a 20 by one foot trench that we'll have to dig down probably well more than four inches we'll probably have to go down what uh uh eight inches or so to put that down in the ground deep enough um, it says there's 200 feet of four inch PVC. Oh, I see why. Okay, so in each entrance here, they want to run PVC pipe through the asphalt in all these areas here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have to figure 200 feet by one feet of trenching to do. So a 200 foot by one foot probably dig it down eight inches and then we'll put the pvc pipe in and then um and then bury it or excuse me uh put rock back in it and then uh, asphalt in those in those spots um and then you see where there's existing islands there's one two three four five six different islands that we'll have to rip out and then we'll have to put back uh, curbing in those areas. That curbing, I will show you, that's called the proposed straight curb, 574 lineal feet. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, on sheet D2, you've got straight curb. You can see that straight curb is 18 inches deep. It's 18 inches by six inches wide. So we'll have to, when we go to rip out those islands, um, we'll just tear out, well, we'll have to tear out a majority of the, uh, actually, I'm not going to, we're not going to bid that part because there's trees in there. I think what we can do is we can place the new, um, the new curbing because we can't, I don't, we won't be doing the tree removal and I'll show you where it's at, but that's your straight curb detail, at least for that for now. So I at least want to show you that. Okay, so these 
islands that I'm talking to you about. Um, the islands are the narrow islands right now. So we'd be ripping those out. But then we'd be putting in curbing uh, that's in green. So what you see in green is going to be the actual new curb islands. So in order to do that, you can see these are the the narrow islands that they've got going down through here. Um, there's trees in all of them. So uh, that'll be part of our conversation with these guys is that they're going to have to get somebody out here to remove the trees. We can remove the asphalt, or excuse me, not the asphalt. We can remove the curbing, but then we're going to have to um, um, recreate those islands in a way where I'm not sure if we got to rip out the asphalt that's going to be with inside those islands and then they fill it in or what. Uh, that's something to talk to them about later on in the bidding process. I would imagine that'll be probably part of a second round of bidding uh, where we talk about removing the asphalt inside the islands. Okay. But this is, these are the existing islands that are there right now. And then we would end up making, you know, these little funky shaped curb islands that go in the pattern of these angled stalls. You can see out here right now, you see that difference in color. That's because that's pervious asphalt and then you got non-pervious uh, right now it says non-pervious for us to put in okay so um, I just showed you those islands and how we'll have to rip those out and then recreate right off of those existing islands a larger island and so that means we will have to take that footage of curbing and we will have to do some demo wherever those red lines are in order to install these curves and then there's going to be a little bit of asphalt restoration around each of those okay so we're looking at that right now but we're also using the footage square yards and everything that they provided us so it's not like we need to figure out what those square yards are at this moment because they provided a lot of that but at least i'm telling you right now that that's kind of the game plan is that we'll take those existing islands and actually, we're actually just extending those islands right now. They'll probably cover them up with dirt, to be honest with you. They probably just want to extend these islands, leave them where they're at existing, and then, no, uh... oh, no, it says existing curb removal. It says 384 feet. So we will have to remove the curb and then put back um, new curbing for these islands.